And with me, the great thing about the body is that it's a medium with legs, and I can take elements of land art, but then use the quirkiness of the individual person, sort of like a, 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 a Diane Arbus meets Nancy Rubens. And so I have this odd portraiture aspect to my work, and at the same time, when you have a thousand people lying close to each other, it sort of makes this color field, like a sea of bodies with reds and pinks and browns. I usually come up with ideas once I'm invited uh, to, to uh, a city by a, often a museum or by a biennial. And then uh, I'm usually taken around by the curator or director to different sites that they think are interesting. And then I drive around the city myself and find locations where I can imagine hundreds or thousands of people interacting with public space. We're very fortunate and we're honored that he's agreed to do it in the private space of this hotel. And um, I hope that it'll just add to the importance of what we hope is a meaningful collection of art, which we try and share with our, our guests. The collection will be enhanced. The work that he's shooting today will not be uh, viewed. They'll have a viewing of it or an unveiling for uh, Art Basel. And that'll be the first time people, the public will be able to see it. And we're all excited about that. Obviously, posing nude at a hotel is different than a public street, so I think this one will deal more with fantasy and leisure as opposed to uh, making sort of any public statement of uh, freedom or angst against uh, society. I think I really accomplished uh, what I set out to do with the work. I, uh, I had a, a fantasy uh, moment of whimsy and excess with, in, at the Sagamore, this small capsule of time that we're living in now, where there's excess and, and war and climate change all happening at the same time. We're um, here in the United States, we're doing very well uh, in the minds of everyone, but we're actually not doing well. The dollar is, uh, is horrible overseas, and yet we're still living in excess with the art world where its uh, prices are higher than they ever have been before. So this is kind of a, a duality of existing with uh, leisure excess and excessive art. Yeah.